So the next step is basically to work on how to bring the, the you know the pieces in smoothly. Obviously, um, you can see here they're coming in quite sharp around the edges. So and I don't really like that. I want to look at, make it look a bit more professional. Um, so this is bit where the bit where you know experienced people with Sony Vegas will be able to do this, no problem. Um, what you need to do is you need to grab a medium blur, uh, sorry, gag Asian blur, and then grab the medium blur and drag that onto all four pieces of the mask, like so. There we go. Oops, yeah, that's done it. And then what we need to do is we need to scroll down to radial blur, and we need to grab the medium proportional. Drag that onto all four pieces again. Like that. <coughs> uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top um, keyframe part and click on the video if event effects. Um, so what we're going to do here now is bring the, the L96 in in blurry but then make it smooth so what we need to do is we need to find the part where it starts to come in so I can just see it on the preview box here just set a keyframe there that's still on medium blur and then as it pretty much finally arrives in the, um, the preview box we need to set another keyframe and put uh, this one to reset to none like so so it basically comes in blurry and then it sharpens up as it gets there and then under the radial blur tab, you need to do the exact same thing, set the keyframes exactly the same position. And on the final one here, you want to put that to reset to none. Um, so that's the first piece done. And then on the second piece, do the same thing. This time what you need to do is you need to find out where the second piece starts to come in. So it's nearly there, about there. I can just see the corner of it here coming up. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's just started to come into the preview box. So set a keyframe and then like half a second down the line just as it's pretty much fully emerged in the preview box uh, set that third keyframe to reset to none set the markers on radial blur exactly underneath like so third keyframe here click reset to none so now if I just give you a quick preview of that um, you press start it comes in both pictures will so I press play one Two. See, them two pieces came in blur to start with. So what you need to do is you need to do the same effect, <coughs> same kind of transition thing with piece three and four. Um, I'll just show you this one quickly. So find out where it's coming in. About there for me. Set a keyframe where it's fully in. Uh, about there. Set another keyframe. Reset to none. Underneath on radio, do the same thing and reset to none. So that's three pieces coming, boy. Just do the same with the fourth. Right, so here's the fourth piece, um, just starting to come in now. Keyframe as it's fully in, about there, set a keyframe, same thing underneath and reset to none. There we go. <clears throat> so if you preview that now, one, two, three, and four. There we go. So that's the basics of that done. Um, one of the harder parts of the tutorial. Secondly, all we need to do now is just uh, the second clip that you're going to be going into is just simply drag that to the bottom of the fourth mask. So now, if we just played it from there, it'll go fourth piece in. Oh, in fact, here we go. Um, Obviously, when it saves as a PNG file, the file might be too long. So what you need to do is, um, first of all, just group all four of these masks by simply clicking on the top one, then holding Shift, left click, left click, left click, and then press G to group it. That's now grouped all four of these mask pieces. <coughs> and then what you want to do is find the spot where the fourth piece has just come in and landed about there for me. <coughs> Sorry about it, it's got a... Particularly for let me just grab a quick drink. Alright, so whether the four pieces have come in, you need to press S on the keyboard. Now all these are grouped and simply press delete just to shrink that down and then simply drag and drop the second clip onto the fourth mask there. So now as the fourth mask comes in, the clip goes straight into um, the kill. 
So that's that bit done. And then the second part, uh, well, second part, last part, sorry, <coughs> is you want to grab this, the first clip, and you need to find out exactly where, um, you know, you've just made the kill, and the sniper's gone back to the reset position. Um, I think, let's have a look. Right, it's there for me. So what you need to do is you need to drag this directly below the fourth mask, and you just, um, Oh, that's that's kind of wandered nice for me there. You just need to make sure that the um, both sniper rifles by using the arrow keys now will land on top of each other as it comes in. You know we've done the keyframing to make it come in, so that's landed bang on top of that. So um, once you've done that, the final step is to just make it so because as you see the parts coming in, the level behind is still clear, and for me that looks pretty shite. Um, the best way to get rid of this is just by get, grabbing a Gargasian Blur, reset to none, and drag that onto the bottom clip. Um, and what you need to do is you need to basically find where you've made the kill, and you just um, zip across until you find out. So you find the point where the L96 starts to come in your first mass piece, about there for me. Once that mass piece has fully sharpened up, and you just start to see the second piece, which you can in my top corner up here, don't know if you can see that. You need to set um, a keyframe just a little bit before that, about there for me. Set a keyframe, a reset to non keyframe. Go a couple of keyframes in just as the second piece is arriving and set another keyframe. And on this one, you want to set that to medium blur. So this is where the level starts to go faded. Maybe just move that up a tiny bit. There, that looks good for me. So now, if you was to preview that, um, you're gonna get the first kill here, and then the the night six goes back one, two, three, and four, and into your second clip. I think that was a bit waggy due to the fact that I'm recording this with um, Cam Studios, but yeah, that's how to do the basics of the jigsaw effect. Um, if you've got any questions or anything, just send me a comment. Um, I'll try to improvise on giving you more detail but I think for advanced users of Sony Vegas that should be fine um, like I say if you like this tutorial uh, and you're going to be using it just give it a thumbs up leave some comments for me um, and that's it guys really so um, yeah I'll be bringing out some more tutorials um, as well so if you want to sub to my channel that would be nice and um, yeah that's all she wrote guys cheers